All right, so I decided to do the snake tag challenge that's been cropping up on YouTube lately. I've seen other YouTubers posting it. And even though I wasn't tagged in it, I thought it was a good way to uh, introduce myself a little bit more and maybe get a few more views. So even though I wasn't tagged, I'm going to do the snake tag challenge anyway. Um, so far it's been fun watching the other videos that people have posted. <clears throat> and I've, you know, been introduced to a few other YouTubers that look like uh, good channels. So, um, yeah, that's a good way to get yourself out there, I think. So, uh, i got Reptilicus here to help me. He's my high white California king snake. I did want to go with Rita, my Pueblo milk snake. She's the first snake I ever got. But um, she's in the shed, so I didn't want to stress her out. So, yeah, so let's get on with this. All right, so... How many snakes do you own? I own nine snakes. Um, two California Kings. This is one of them. The other ones are striped. Um, then there's the Pueblo Milk Snake, Rita. Um, Eastern Chain King. Gray Bandit King Snake. Red Side Garter Snake. Everglades Rat Snake. Western Hognose Snake. And a Ball Python. Alright, so uh, next question is, who was my first snake? Well, Rita the, the milk snake was my first snake, and I got her about three years ago. So I'm really, I'm quite new to this hobby, um, and yeah, I know it's, uh, it's become quite an addiction with all the animals I have, nine snakes within three years, but... Uh, you know, I've been enjoying the ride so far. It's been a lot of fun. Alright. Favorite snake? Um, that's a tough question. Because there's thousands of snake species. And I like them all for different reasons. I, I guess, from a hobbyist standpoint, the Lampropeltis genus, so king snakes and milk snakes, would be my favorite snakes. I really like them. They have a lot of personality. They have a lot of different paint jobs on them. I have a thing for North American snakes in particular, North American colubrids. So there's a lot to love about the king snakes and milk snakes. They're a fascinating group. Um, but also I have a thing for garter snakes too, partly because I can find them so easily in my own backyard. I feel like they're kind of like the all-American snake. You know? And timber rattlesnakes for the, for the same reason. They're an all-American snake. Uh, one of the only venomous snakes live, that live local to me. So. I quite like them as well. Alright, so the next question. If I could own any snake in the world, what would it be? Well, I... Gosh, there's a long list of snakes I want to own. Um, I guess the Eastern Indigo snake would be the one for me. Or any of the uh, dry mark on genus. Um, but particularly Eastern Indigo, one of the largest snakes in North America, Colubrid. That's kind of my deal. That's what I like. So... I'm going to go with that, um, although I really also would like to have a tricolor hog nose as well. Alright. Have I ever been bitten? Yes, of course. Um, you know, I think everybody that works with snakes probably gets bitten sooner or later. Oddly enough, um, you know, most of my videos are herping videos, and I still haven't really been bitten by a wild snake. Um, not that I can remember anyway, not within the last couple of years that I've really been herping uh, hardcore. But I've been bitten by plenty of pet snakes. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, that brings us to the next question. When, when was your first snake bite? I don't know, probably, honestly, probably just a couple years ago when I really started getting into snakes. Um, I can't remember who, who it would have been, though. Um, the one that stands out was from my gray baby king who's behind me and, and hiding. Uh, she's chewed me up pretty good. That would probably fall in the category of my worst snake bite, but still, it was, she's little and it was superficial. It wasn't a big deal. Uh, as for the biggest snake that's bit me, this guy right here. I was handling lizards one day, and then I picked him up, and he bit my hand. So, you know, nothing serious. Didn't even break the skin, actually. Okay. So who inspires me? Well... I've watched a lot of these videos, I see Steve Irwin crop up a lot, and yeah, definitely Steve Irwin is, is a big inspiration. 
I wasn't big into reptiles when I was watching Steve Irwin. I've always loved all animals, honestly. Um, but I wasn't like a reptile hobbyist or field herper. But um, I always enjoyed watching Steve Irwin's videos. Uh, he did a lot for um, spreading the word on these animals and why they need to, why we need to care about them. And he was a great public spokesman, if you will. For the same reason, David Attenborough is perhaps even higher on my list. Um, growing up watching his documentaries, he's been making documentaries since, gosh, since the fifties, and he's like in his eighties now, and he's still doing it. I, I still love his work. Um, Marty Stauffer is on my list. Um, he did Wild America, which is a show on PBS. And uh, you know, younger people might not be familiar with it, but definitely uh, gave me an appreciation for the things that live in my own backyard. I definitely have a, a strong love for our native reptiles, amphibians, and other animals. And I think Wild America and Marty Stafford played a big role in that. He even has a documentary specifically about king snakes, which is pretty good. You should watch it if you can find it. Um, and then I added, um, oh yeah, Brady Barr, who's on National Geographic. He did a lot of work with crocodilians. I, liked, I watched him a lot when I was in college. Um, and then Keenan Harkin, who has the Camp Keenan channel on YouTube. He's my most, I, he's the most recent guy I would add to the list. He's definitely got a great channel going on. He does a lot for reptiles and amphibians. I love um, his enclosures and his setups and his overall ethical and moral code. Um, if you haven't seen his channel, I would definitely check it out. So next up, will I ever own a venomous snake? Uh, probably not. Uh, you know, it's just, there's so many species of non-venomous snakes that I would love to own. I don't really see a need to get into that, into the venomous snakes. Um, I'm fine, you know, the, like I said, the list of snakes that I need to own is ridiculously long before I can even start thinking about venomous snakes. I have no experience with venomous snakes. I would need a lot of training, I feel like, in order to, to uh, tackle them. Um, and yeah, and you know, I just don't know if the risk is worth it. The big thing with the snakes is I like to be able to hold them and interact with them and interact with other people with the snakes. And you can't really do that so much with venomous snakes. I suppose the only way I would ever own a venomous snake is if I had did like public education on them. Uh, I can't say I would never own one because, you know, if you had asked me 10 years ago if I would have this nine snakes, I would probably look back at you. I was big into fish at the time, which if you look at my old, old videos, you see that. So, you know, yeah, you never know where life takes you. And what do I find interesting about snakes? Okay, so, I mean, I, like I've said before, I find all animals interesting, but snakes in particular, you know, there's just a mystique about them. They're kind of mysterious and otherworldly. They're very different from other living vertebrates. Uh, you know, the fact that they have no arms and legs, which, you know, other people will tell you too, it's, it's amazing how, they, how adaptable they are. They can occupy every niche on the planet, despite what we would perceive as a handicap. But they climb trees, and they burrow, and they swim, and they fly through the air, they do everything that other animals can do, and they do it well. To think that these are animals that you know, evolved from lizards back during the Mesozoic era, and lived underground, and then came back out from the ground and started you know, occupying all these other niches left vacant after the Cretaceous extinction, really amazing to me. But also, you know, the, it's the, 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 um, the human relationship with snakes is also very interesting to me, you know, how we both vilified them and worshipped them through the ages. We have a fascinating, fascinating relationship with snakes. Okay, and when did I get my first snake? Uh, well, you know, it was, like I said before, three years ago it was Rita. The milk snake. She was my first snake, and uh, it's kind of late because a lot of people start keeping them in their teen years. And you know, I had animals all my life: rabbits, cats, turtles, salamanders, things like that. But my mom was deathly afraid of snakes. I was never allowed to have snakes living with her. When I moved out of there, uh, I mostly focused on the fish hobby. Um, didn't take much interest in snakes. It wasn't until I actually started working at a pet store, which is three years ago, that I found myself really drawn to them. So, and that's when I decided to get my first snake. I was like, you know, these things aren't as scary as I once thought they were. 
a lot of that fear may have been pushed on me by my mother. Um, and I found them, again, really fascinating, really exotic. Them and lizards both. I didn't have any lizards either until three years ago. And look at me now, now I have my, I'm starting to channel up on herping and herkeeping. It's, it's been fun. Yeah, you know, like I said before, you never know where life takes you. But yeah, so I guess that's about it. I think that's all the questions. Yeah, so it would seem. And as for people to tag, while well, most of the people who I watch have already been tagged, they did videos already, I don't have a lot of subscribers yet, but I do have a couple that I don't think have done the video. So I'm going to tag uh, New York Herper, who I know has snakes, and Afro Herp Keeper, who has an excellent channel, and I'm pretty sure, you know, I don't know if he's done it or not, but I would be surprised if somebody had not already tagged him, so... But if not, I'll tag him. He probably won't see this video, but yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed.